In this session, we are going to talk about how to implement ZO1 in the best way possible. Last week I've been to Zoolix. This time when I went to Zoolix, I had one purpose in mind, to try to understand what is the best way to implement ZO1, because ZO1 is a beast of a system. You have lots and lots of applications, and each application has lots of modules by itself. Except of winning a beautiful award, the Global Champion Award from ZO, which we are very proud of, we also had the chance to talk to clients that are using ZO1, talk to partners that are implementing ZO1 for their clients, and also talk to ZO that are developing those systems for us. Before we jump into point number one, I like you to smash the like button. My marketer is always complaining that I'm not requesting you guys to like the video and obviously it's not helping us so much in the marketing. So we are going to start with the first point and that will be pricing. The pricing, as you understand, is inexpensive. $37 a month will buy you over 55 business applications and so are adding more and more applications into the pile. So the price is awesome. From Zoho point of view, they're providing you an inexpensive suite of applications that every business can have best-in-class applications to run the business. CRM for the sales, Zo Desk for the customer service, Zo Campaigns for the marketing, and so on and so on. So that's an amazing offer. From the other side, we users, we like to use as many applications as possible, as fast as possible, because that will save us thousands and thousands of dollars on other subscriptions. The main problem is that each application is huge and it takes time to learn a new application. So if you will try to implement ZO CRM and when you learn it and your team knows how to use it, you jump to the next application, that's awesome, that works. But if you're trying to implement all the applications at one time, you will not know how to use them and it will be a disaster. So my proposition to you is when you are implementing ZO1, think about it like a storyline. ZO1 will be the first application to implement and that will take you probably a few hours. Very quick and easy to understand because ZO1 eventually is just a license. Once you install ZO1, you will need to go to ZO CRM. Even if you're trying to use ZO books or other applications in ZO, I recommend you to have ZO CRM as the base, the place that holds all your customers, all your accounts, all your items, everything that you have in your business, and then connect to it the rest of the applications. So ZO CRM will be the base. If you are using ZO CRM for your sales, ZO CRM would be an amazing place to start with. In our company, for example, we're providing free education to all our clients and also people that are working with us. We have a huge academy and I'm sure that also other partners providing some kind of education to their clients. Because without education, you will always be the hostage of the company. So that will be part one, starting slow with your, with your system, starting with CRM, and then implement the rest. Zo will provide you over 55 business applications. And I am categorizing those applications to three different categories. Category number one will be best-in-class applications, such as Zo CRM, Zo Desk, Zo Campaigns, Zo Books. You have a bunch of applications that are best-in-class very, very stable and very, very good applications. And that's because they are in the market for many, many years. There was enough time to debug the applications, to get clients information and clients request to enhance the applications. They are perfect. From the other side, you have group number two. Those will be applications that are stable, they are mature, and they're okay. They're not perfect, but they're okay and you will have your third level applications, and those will be applications that are in the beginning of the process, such as marketing automations, such as ZO bookings. And those applications, as an example, I don't think that they are good enough for live environment. For example, ZO bookings will have lots of features, even more than the competition but it will have some small glitches such as double bookings or not 
updating your calendar in real time. So there will be some applications that I will not recommend every business to use. Maybe you can start using them and if it works for you, it's awesome. But in some cases, you find them not as good as. And it's important to understand that this license includes those three groups. The last point, which I think this is probably the most critical point, and this is planning. I can see across the board companies installing ZO1 and starting to play with the system. This is wrong. Don't do it. First of all, when you're receiving ZO1, you need to understand the applications and hopefully your ZO partner will help you do that. Once you understand the applications, you will need to start understanding how to implement your business processes on top on the ZO system. You know your business, the other side that you work with needs to know ZO and needs to know also business. So he can take your requirements and show you how to implement them on ZO. We can help you, lots of other great partners can help you. No problem, but you can't just start clicking around. If you will, you will have a patch system that you will spend money on it forever and it will never be a good system. So please plan your system because in the Zolix, the number one thing that I saw for uh, systems that were not implemented properly and businesses suffered is because there was no planning and no thought process behind it. It was just about, okay, this is CRM. Let's see what CRM can give us. Obviously, it's the wrong approach. So that's it. Those three points will be the main points to have a successful ZO1 implementation. If you like the video, thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.